What's up guys, in this video I am going to be talking about Mancera's Red Tobacco. I know this channel has recently felt like it is a Mancera channel. Just with how many Manceras I've received. But um, in this Mancera video, we uh, got Red Tobacco. This is a screw cap. Um, I talked about it in my last video. I just, it was a way too long of a video to just go ahead and uh, do the review at the end. But let's go ahead and get the spray on myself. I don't even know where to spray this at. I'm going to go ahead and spray it on my arm right here. In my eye once again. But, uh, yeah, I mean, screw cap. We already know people with the screw caps, they believe that the fragrance um, projects more, or it's a stronger version of this Mancera. Um, I feel like I've just gotten so used to this scent DNA that the opening doesn't really affect me as much as it used to. I used to absolutely hate the opening of these kind of DNA fragrances. So far, I would say the clone, um, I forgot what the uh, Amir clone was. But it's pretty much the same Mancera type of bottle with, uh, I don't really know what the name was. I forgot. I think Red Tobacco is where it's at in the dry down. That's where the dry down, I enjoyed the other fragrances. But um, as of right now, I'm not really impressed. And it's because the clone is pretty similar to it. Um, I'd have to find the clone and I'll put a picture up on it. Or a picture up on the screen. There was a few fragrances that had this type of DNA. Um, I don't remember exactly which ones that I got rid of. Oh, it was Exclusive Tobacco by Mesa Alhambra, which was cloning a fragrance by Carolina Herrera, which was Mystery Tobacco. Pretty much the same DNA. I got rid of that bottle. But so far, out of all of the red tobacco type of DNAs, this one seems to be the best one, probably because it has the best quality. Um, I would have to give it a, a full wearing for sure. When will I be able to? I'm not too sure. Just because I do have a lot more fragrances coming in, and it's going to be hot for the next few days. I do not want to wear this fragrance while it's hot. Um, I would probably, uh, I don't know what to tell you, I, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably go crazy and I'd probably drive everybody else around me crazy. So, um, yeah, I mean, so far it's getting better. Uh, dry down is definitely going to be better, way better. But the opening is just rough and that's just what I've found about some men's eras that opening's going to be a little bit rough and get over it. They'll be better. But that brings me back to Mancera's just being good, not great. And I've tried enough to tell you that. A good gateway to higher quality fragrances. Sure. Something that smells different than a designer. Same price. Maybe cheaper than a designer. Absolutely. Something that's going to, you're going to smell it and it's going to impress you or blow you away. Probably not the house you're looking to get into. Probably might not be the one for you. I mean, it's not the one for me, but just because it doesn't blow me away doesn't mean it won't blow you away. Uh, but yeah, this fragrance has definitely gotten better. Um, I do like it. Will I keep it? I have no idea. Um, I'll probably, after a full wearing, I'll decide. Or I might just sell it. Honestly, I, I could go two ways. I could. Sometimes I, I'm not even bothered to give a fragrance a chance. I'll just give it up. I'm that impatient. I just, I'll, I'll let it go. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Red Tobacco. I'm pretty sure most of you have already tried it. Um, just so you can hear my opinion of the Red Tobacco uh, clones, um, especially by the one by Amir. It's very, very close to the opening. But that's it. Um, how this so far this fragrance has transformed this is transforming way better than the clone can so all those hype videos that have probably been made 
of different people, uh, take it with a grain of salt. I would say closeness from what I remember is probably gonna be like 75% close, not too close at all. But yeah, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one.